I literally, <laughs> I just figured it out. Okay. Hello YouTube, Jeff Bosco here. Um, I gotta stop moving around so much. All the nerve, nervous twitching that I do. I got a bunch of stuff to unbox, really exciting stuff. I'm not gonna beat around the bush, I'm just gonna get right to it and I'm gonna show you what I got as I go and explain what I'm about to do with my new setup. Okay. Okay, what's this? It's like Christmas morning. Merry Christmas. Ooh, I got some uh, cables, DB25 connectors. These are not cheap, I can tell you that much. Yeah, uh, these are, uh, I think these, both of these are five feet long. I got two of those. Uh, they have the DB5 connector to eight balanced males. Tip ring sleeves. Okay. This here is a hardware rack. That's a six space. Um, that's not incredibly important to what I wanted to show you. That's for uh, my drum room. But this right here is the centerpiece. Yeah. So I'm adding up to 48 inputs into my setup with this the um, Motu 24AO which is basically the same box with a little different configuration as my Motu 16A these are like brother and sister units and um, so the deal was I wanted to use my uh, Midas Venice U20, uh, U32, excuse me, to do full console mixes, and I just didn't have enough native outputs on my 16A, which is only comes with 16. I could add ADAT outputs, but I'd be paying for inputs as well, which I don't really need. So this was only around a grand and it comes with 24 native outputs. So I decided to go with this anyway, since I could just hook this up through a network cable into my 16A. And that's what I decided to do. So I'm just gonna put that aside for now. Yeah, instruction manual there. <laughs> you can't see it, but my cat Chopper is uh, is was sitting over there and went to investigate the loud noise. I can't remember what else I can't had coming in this shipment. Yeah, hi Chop. What's with all the noise, huh? Here's the uh, whoop. <laughs> There's a 12 rack unit. Uh, I'm gonna set up all my gear in a rack from now on, which uh, I'll take a picture of the mess I have here and show you guys how I had everything set up. I'm setting all my gear up in this 12U rack. If this is a desk mount. I'm just gonna put it on the floor over here. Once I get everything in there, I'll have my Motu 24A. O connected to my Motu 16A, then I, I'm gonna have 14 available outs because I'm using two for the monitors. If anybody has any better suggestions of how I should set that up, please uh, just put them in the comments. But uh, I need two outputs on my Motu 16A going to my monitors. Then I'm gonna have the rest of the 14 that are on the uh, 16A going to channels on the console. And then I'm going to take the DB25 connectors out on here. There's three separate banks of eight for 24 total. 
And uh, so I have, I bought two of these cables and I'll have 16 here and 14 from there. All that's gonna go into separate channels on the console. Then um, I'm gonna hook some gear up to the uh, auxiliary on here. And then everything's gonna come back on two channels back into Reaper. I'm not gonna film myself doing all the mechanical stuff. I'm not gonna film any of that. I'm just gonna do it and uh, I'm gonna sh show you everything, how it looks when it's done. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna get on with it. Uh, so I got everything set up kind of the way I want it. It's a little bit of a mess. I'll get my camera out here. It's a mess in here, I know. Okay, so I got the Venice U U32. That's Chopper the Wonder Kitty. I have the A, the 16A on top, the 24AO on the bottom. So on the 24AO has the two uh, DB25 connectors. Those are eight channels each. There's one, two, and then so 16 from there. Then I got 14 from here. These two Hosa snakes coming out from the A16. Okay, and that's coming over here. Here are the uh, D sub connections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then all the Hosa cables are there for the rest of the mono channels. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I have into the three of the four stereo channels with the rest of them. And then out, out here, the monitor and the aux section coming out here. I got eight, eight outs and those are going back into the eight inputs on the 16A. Let me go back to the computer. 16A is coming in Thunderbolt into my Mac Mini. As of right now, I have the um, the 24AO connected to the 16A just through a um, the AVB connection. And let me show you what I got there because I um, I can't figure it out at all. So let me open up uh, Reaper here. So I got signal there. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Well, let's turn that down a little bit. All right. So this is just me playing, playing with my new kit, uh, my new kick drum, the 24 by 14. And uh, I'm just using this as an example. So. I cannot get the AVB connection to work the way I want it to. All right, so here's how I have this set up. And tell me, you could tell me if I'm doing anything wrong here. So I have these outputs set up going into the AVB streams. So output 31 and 32. I have a Rhea insert just on the drum bus here. I'll put 31 and 32. So now you don't hear that. So that's going into Rhea insert and then out from, uh, from computer into the, the Motu matrix. And then I have that send into the AVB stream. AVB stream one and two. So I have this input connection set up right here. Absolutely nothing is going into the 24AO. Am I doing something wrong? Anyway, I can't figure it out. So for, for now, I'm just going to hook the 24AO up as a um, USB interface because I'm tired of trying to figure out how this works.
Uh, I will say the um, the Skater Frameworks brack here on one side of it. I mean, they were hard to screw in on both sides, but one was almost impossible. Um, I just kept having to, you know, it was way too tight. Uh, I eventually got them screwed in, but it took a lot of effort. Uh, that's, that's the only other thing on that. Uh, I'm pretty um, frustrated, but eventually um, that'll work itself out. I'll figure it out and um, figure out the AVB connection eventually. So I'm not too worried about that, but otherwise I'm pretty excited to get some mixes going through, uh, going through the, um, the, the Midas Venice over here. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, I didn't want to make a too long video, but that's, yeah. Thanks for watching. I literally, <laughs> I just figured it out. Okay. I can't, <laughs> I just pulled this back up and realized that um, I had to go to the 24AO here and set up the, I have to set up connections on both of them. That's why. Okay. So now I got it working right. So here, back here. Now this is playing through and playing through there, going into here. Booyah. Oh, that is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now I'm excited. Now I'm so excited. This is great. This is great, 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 great. All right. I think what I'm going to do is uh, download, I'm not going to enter the, the contest, but I'm going to download those tracks on the, um, for the uh, Rate My Mix contest that's going on with that, um, that country rock song. Uh, I'm going to download those and I'm going to set, set this up. And um, yeah, that's going to be my first mix through this, through the console. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So stay tuned for that. I'm so happy right now.